Hello, my dear children. Good morning, all of you. Today for class 10, equation of a straight line. Straight line, that is endless line. Get the idea. The power of im imagination is needed. An equation of a straight line is a linear equation in x and y, which is satisfied by the coordinates of every point on E. There is the little introduction. Pay attention or introduction. It will help you to solve the sum in this chapter. See, inclination or slope or gradient. These are the terms are inevitable for this chapter. Inclination, that is this line at which angle the line that means straight line inclined with x axis that is inclination and that is denoted by tan theta and slope that is also the inclination denoted by m it is in the form of equation m will be given and another that is gradient when the Coordinates of the two ends are given, suppose x1, y1 and x2, y2. Then the gradient will be y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. By applying formula, we will get the gradient. These are the concepts you have to remember. Now, the inclination of x axis, x, so x dash is known as the x axis. What is the inclination of x-axis? Zero. The inclination of line parallel to x-axis. This is the x-axis and parallel to x-axis this line. One is upward direction, another is downward direction. Both are parallel to x-axis. That is inclination zero. The inclination of y-axis, this axis, inclination of y-axis, 90 degree. And incl inclination of any line parallel to y-axis, that is also 90 degree. This you have to remember. Now, another vital point, that is formula. Pay attention on formula. The equation of x-axis, that is x to x dash, equation of x-axis, y equal to 0. And equation of y-axis, x equal to 0. Equation of x-axis, y equal to 0. Equation of y-axis, x equal to 0. And next, equation of a straight line parallel to y-axis. Parallel to y-axis. This is the y-axis, parallel to y-axis, this line and this line. Parallel to y-axis, that is x equal to plus minus a. Plus minus a, that means in right side of the y-axis, that is plus, and left side of the y-axis, that is minus. So, x plus, x equal to plus minus a. And equation of a straight line parallel to x-axis, parallel to x-axis, this e equation, this line. And equation... That is in two ways. One is upward direction of x-axis, another is downward direction of x-axis. That is y equal to plus minus b. Next, equation of a straight line with part one slope m and part two y intercept c is given. Two things are given. Slope and y-intercept. y-intercept, that is, this part is known as y-intercept and slope, that is theta. These two things, when you will see in problem, then you have to apply this frame of formula, y equal to mx plus c. Condition, slope, and y-intercept. Next, the equation of a straight line with slope m and passing through a point x1, y1. To here also two condition slope and coordinates of one point. Then the equation will be y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. Condition and frame of the 
equation. Both you have to remember. And next, equation of a straight line through two points, that is x1, y1, and x2, y2. The line passing through two coordinates, and coordinates are given. That time, the equation will be y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1, passing through two points, and coordinates of the two points are given. Next and last, that is equation of a straight line passing through coordinate axis. Coordinate axis, that means passing through both axis, y axis and x axis. Then the equation will be x by a plus y by b equal to 1. These are the formula you have to remember. Now on the formula, the sum is given. There are two sum, one sum for homework and one solution is given here. See, the first sum for homework, second sum, the coordinates of two points E and F are given. We have to find out the gradient. The find the gradient of EF. Gradient of EF, that is coordinates of two, that is X1, Y1, X1, Y1 and X2, Y2 given. So since the coordinates of two points E and F are 0, 4 and 3 minus 7 respectively, coordinates of the two points are given. Therefore, by applying the formula, we will get the gradient. That is m equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. After putting the formula, relevant value you have to write in this way. After writing values, you have to simplify. After simplification, it is coming 1. So, slope of this line or gradient of this line 1. Answer of the first part is completed. Second part, that is the equation of EF. Since the line passing through 0, 4 and 3, 7, the coordinates of the two points and line passing through two points. Line passing through two points, that is coordinates of two points, x1, y1 and x2, y2. So naturally, you have to apply this frame of equation. So uh, since the line passing through this, therefore the equation of EA, EF, that is this equation, that means this equation you must write down. After writing the equation, relevant values you have to write in this way. After writing the values, you have to simplify. Simplification very simple. Uh, easily you can solve it by simplification. It is coming x minus y plus 4 equal to 0. This is the answer for second part. And last part, that is... Uh, the coordinates of the point where the line EA intersect x-axis. The line EA intersect x-axis. That means we have to find out the coordinate of this point. And this equation of this line we have got. And uh, in the definition, that is every point or every coordinates will be satisfied by the... Uh, on the line, it must be satisfied. This is why, uh, this is why the since the line EF intersect X axis, since the line this intersect X axis, therefore coordinates of Y equal to zero. This line intersect X axis. That means the point of intersection lie on X axis. Therefore y coordinate is 0. y coordinate 0, therefore in equation, if you put the value of y, then you will get the value of x. This is y, therefore x minus 0 plus 4 equal to 0 and x equal to minus 4. Therefore, the coordinates of the intersecting point minus 4, 0. Very simple. If you understand the condition and the form of equation, then easily you can solve any sum in this chapter. But remaining part of this chapter, if you get interest, then I will explain next class. Okay, thank you everybody.